The first smart layer that we will auto replace is the front design. For this job, we will select only the input files for the front design. Make sure the front and back files are paired properly in alphabetical order. I have selected only the front images while holding the control key. Instead of running the auto replace script, we are going to queue it. By clicking the queue button, not the OK button. The first job is now listed in the job queue add-on script. We still have to create another job. Click cancel button for now. I'm selecting the smart layer for the back image. This time, we will select the back images as our auto replace input files. At this point, pay attention to the output destination settings. The job queue script will save the output using the destination settings of the last created job. All other settings of each auto replace job will still be followed. Click Q button to add this job. Each job in the list has a number indicating how many input files are there to be processed. The final destination of the output files are indicated below. Click the Run button to run all the jobs that we created. Watch as the script edits each smart layer and replaces the image content. The new image is resized according to the size setting set for each job. In this case, it is set to fit the width of the smart layer. Now the other smart layer pair is being replaced. The first pair of input images is complete. The script now saves the output. Now, on to the next input pair. Watch the history panel at the left side to see what actions are being performed by the script. Each time a process is being completed and saved, the history panel returns to the original state. So your mock-up file remains unmodified. The script supports transparent input files. You can use transparent company logos as input files. The input images used in this demo are courtesy of Jabong Online Store. Mockup is provided for free by Graphic Burger. We have processed four image replacement pairs in three minutes. Here's the last pair. Done. Let's take a look at the outputs. See instructions below this video on how to purchase this script.